Alrighty, everybody, what is going on? It's your boy, The Gainsman here, back at it with another awesome video. All right, my dudes, my guys, my girls, what is going on? Happy Wednesday to you all, and hopefully you guys are out there catching them all. As you know, we represent the Dollar Tree here on this channel with our Gotta Catch Them All hat, with all of our Pokemon fan favorites on the brim of the hat, our Gotta Catch Them All hat. All right, what's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday to you guys all. Chains up the background a little bit. Had these old box sets sitting around, except for the Hidden Fates. You guys know I bought that. It's the only one I found so far. Got that sitting in the background. That's for a future opening. So got that sitting back there. Got some Garbage Pal stuff. Got some older Sun and Moon uh, box sets back here. Won't be getting into any of that. Just wanted to throw that up and get it out of the way uh, and set up a different setup today. Not putting up the sign for... Uh, you know, you guys know the new YouTube thing for monitor, monitoring, uh, you know, making sure you're, make sure you're age 13 plus to watch the channel, blah, 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 in the description down below, check that out, make sure you have your parents or guardians permission, going on into the video, guys, today, we're gonna open up a few Dollar Tree packs, and then we're going right on into Hidden Fates, guys, because, uh, I'm gonna be gaming a little bit, so I want to leave some time for me to game without having a long, drawn-out video. So let's get right on into this video. So without further ado, guys, we're getting right on into this one. Got a couple of Dollar Tree packs going into the Cosmic Clips. Didn't even bother titling it as what just a Dollar Tree packs. Leave a little suspense onto what we're opening. Just you know, we're opening some Dollar packs, and uh, let's get the uh, thing going. Here we go. Got the babies here. Move it up a little closer so you guys can get a nice little view with the little babies. And let's see what we can get. I got my penny sleeves here. Got my premium sleeves. Let's see if we can get some bangers out of this uh, dollar pack. And hopefully you guys are out there catching them all, having a ball, guys. We're getting ready to get uh, Sword and Shield uh, about to drop in a week or so. So hopefully we get a, a nice... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to give you an early release because of the way I'm doing the videos here on uh, Sundays and Mondays and on, uh, what, Wednesdays and Fridays. So Friday will probably be the day you get to see that, but... Uh, I'll probably have it on Wednesday or Thursdays, uh, the Sword and Shield uh, stuff. All right, so uh, Trainer Beastie, we'll go ahead. We got a Pipple up, and we get the drum roll guys going on, and we'll see what we got here. We got a Cosmiog, so nothing crazy. A nice little trainer to separate that stuff. All right, going on to the next artwork, guys. Make sure you check out my last video, guys. Uh, Black Ops. This is a Universal Channel. We just still do Pokemon. I do video game. Tutorials, uh, high rounds, zombies. Any of you guys have PS4, uh, PlayStation 4, all right? If you guys don't know what that stands for, just want to reiterate that back out to you. Uh, PS4, if you guys got World War II zombies, Black Ops 3 zombies, or uh, Black Ops 4 zombies, guys, I will take you into the next millennium on high rounds and uh, go check out Black Ops 4. Uh, my, I, it was my first time playing that game. Um, I did two videos for you guys. Uh, the first video was in a first an attempt to go to round 100, and uh, did quite like 100, but made it to my ultimate all high round uh, on the first attempt. I never been to that round 74 in my life on the game since I've been playing. Have never made it to round 74 on Call of Duty Black Ops 4 playing on the Ancient Evil Zombies map. And boy, took it to the next level, guys, in solo mode, without any help from any randoms. Did it by myself. Zombie training in the Anthem. Made it to round 74. Go check out that epic video over there. It's linked. Well, it's not linked. It's check out the video, guys. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And I played it the following day, dudes, on the second attempt, trying to go to round uh, 100. And I made it to round 85, which is my ultimate all-high zombie round on Ancient Evil. All right. Upgraded the, the, the gauntlets. Uh, I don't know the name of the gauntlets. The gold one and the uh, first one that's in the map carried a little leaf to the, uh, to the Gaia and built that and upgraded the Gaia glove to the second level. And then I upgraded the golden glove where you had to shine the lights, uh, hit the lights, boom, and smash it with your uh, gauntlet and bring it back to the... To the uh, little thing to uh, get the gauntlet upgrade, then go in and upgrade it. So I upgraded that, and I built the other one over in the uh, in the other side of the map. The uh, that you have to go through Pack a Punch to get to Pack a Punch. Well, rather, uh, did that, and uh, we had a blast on that, guys. Eighty, 
around 85 ultimate high. I will be bringing you another video similar to that um, this coming Sunday and Monday. So you guys love that, guys. Uh, hit me up. Uh, my username for the PlayStation 4 guys is Jedi Kylo MJD47 Spacebar ZHR. It's the old channel name. So you guys never been to rounds uh, 50 or above. Guys, hit me up. I'm the dude. I'll take you there. Uh, and you guys will rank up. It's, I think it's double XP, double weapon XP, and double Nobelium right now on Ancient Evil. And, uh, dudes, I had the season pass, so I will have Omega, whatever. There's two more zombie maps coming out, so it's going to be sick. Not sure when they drop, but I will be playing that for sure. Uh, going to try to take the other maps to high levels, uh, go to high levels on those. But right now, just concentrating on Ancient Evil uh, and going, trying to make it to round 100. All right, so let's get back into this. we got Delmice. Uh, let's get into that. Del Mice, we got Poignard, and we got that drum roll, guys. Let's see what we got. Oh, dude, we got a Torkoal. Uh, Torkoal character card, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and sleeve that up. I'm not sure if I have this one from Cosmic Eclipse. Well, we got a nice secret rare right there, and it is a banger. I call it a secret rare. We'll ring that uh, doorbell there. There we go. Uh, there we go for that. All right. So there we go. Up next, we got uh, another Cosmic Eclipse right there. We're going to see what we can get from this. Oh! All right, put that garbage over there. Boom, boom, and let's get going. All right, we got energy, Parachi's energy. Wow, and it's a lot of glare on that, so we'll tone it down. Shiny, there we go. Boom, we got the seal, and we'll get that banger of a drum roll going. Sneasel, and chew, and... Oh, dude! Oh, we got another secret rare, dudes. Hyper rare. Guzma and Hala. I don't even have this card, so another awesome pull. We got a full art secret rare, which you guys know. Or if you don't know, guys, I collect full art, secret rare, hyper rare cards, all textured cards. I collect them, so this is definitely a card for the binder. We will blow that trumpet in Zion for sure, because we just pulled another awesome card, and the centering is really good on it. Well, a little bit of fat to that side, but... It's okay. It's going in the collection. Another card. Haven't pulled that. Got that from Cosmic Eclipse, guys. Another pack. Two secret rare pulls. Wow. Back to back uh, from our first two packs. All right. We got two more packs. Well, that was three packs, right? Three packs. All right. Two more packs. And we're going to see what we can get here from this. And that's the advertisement. And put the other cards over here. What are you doing, the gamesman? All right. Let's go. Here we go. <coughs> all right let's go here we go here we go guys all right we got mimic you i'm sure pg pg p pg pjv pokemon would love that uh there we go mimic you followed by parachi and we'll get that drum roll going boom and we got a slurple what the hell a slur a slurp slurp puff all right, Slurpuff. There we go. We got Slurpuff, and it is a rare, guys, so just stick that up there. Nothing crazy on that. Just want to make sure we don't have any other rares sitting hiding in here that I forgot to pull out. All right, there we go on the energies. All right, there we go. We got a last pack magic. Same artwork as the last pack we opened, so we're going to see what we can get right here. And uh, here we go. Throw that on over there, and uh, we'll get into this one, guys. We got Throw. Wow, never think I even got this card out before. Throw, we got T-Pig, and we got the drum roll, guys. Let's see what we get here, guys. Oh, we got a Noble Persia GX Ultra Rare Banger. So we'll sleeve that up in a penny sleeve for sure. All right, so let's go over our pulls. Not too bad on the pulls, guys. All right, so... We got the energy, of course. We got some fat right here. All the commons and uncommons. Throw that energy up there. We got a uh, Beastite Trainer. All right. And we got the regular rare uh, right there. Uh, a Slurpuff. And we got that Nolan Persian GX. And we got this secret rare, guys. If you guys are interested in any of these cards here, I'm talking about either purchasing or doing a community trade with me, uh, make sure you hit me up over there on Instagram. Links to my Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, 
uh, Facebook is linked down in the description below. Right now, I've been working with a lot of Instagram uh, postings. So, I've been posting a lot of stuff to Instagram. So, if you're interested in doing a community trade, uh, like I said, I collect full arts, hyper rare cards, rainbow rares for my collection. If you're interested in this stuff, or if you're trying to make a, a master set of uh, whatever card set you're looking for, except that vintage stuff, because I don't have too much vintage stuff. Uh, money's not like that for vintage packs, because there's crazy money to be spending for a booster pack. I uh, really didn't get into that end of Pokemon. Uh, uh, it's very expensive to get into that end at this time, especially with the packs going up, with Sky Ridge going like crazy for the packs, uh, and the old, the old old first edition stuff packs, just crazy. I'm on the new level of Pokemon, and uh, that's the Sun and Moon XY series and into the uh, Sword and Shield. So I'm on that level of Pokemon. I do have some old vintage, you could say Flash Fire and all that stuff, maybe vintage. But I got those kind of packs in the closet over here, but uh, nothing like really, really like substantial old, old. All right, so we're into that Sun and Moon and XY series Pokemon on this channel and uh, into the Sword and Shield and, I mean, down the road, who knows? I may buy some older stuff to open up. I do have some older cards that, when I first got into this, uh, I did buy. Uh, so, I do have some old, uh, like, uh, what do you call those uh, those uh, e-reader cards? Um, or probably my oldest cards that I got. All right? So, without further ado, guys, uh, the best pull, guys, right here is the Guzma and Hala. Guzman Hollow Full Art, which will go into my binder from Cosmic Eclipse. So that was our best pull. All right. So uh, I've been trying something here, doing community trades here on the channel. So like I said, hit me up on Instagram, uh, which works out best. Uh, I've been posting up uh, booster packs that I have that are for sale. Uh, that can definitely be worked in for trades, um, for other stuff. Uh, preferably trying to complete my Hidden Fates. I'm looking for textured... Uh, cards from Hidden Fates that uh, the baby shinies that have dull finish are shiny finish. Looking to complete that set. I do have a complete set of the baby shinies. Don't get me wrong. All right. Just looking for the dull or shiny finish alternate card uh, that looks like it came from the second printing of Hidden Fates. All right. So looking for that. Uh, we've been having some really good luck in the last two uh, episodes of me opening Hidden Fates, pull a lot of full arts, secret rares, uh, gold cards, uh, pull two Tapu Lele's like back to back. On one episode, we pulled one, and on the second one, we pulled one. I'm still looking for my one from eBay that I ordered. So I would have three Tapu Lele's that I would have pulled uh, two of them just a couple of days ago uh, over on the weekend. And uh, we pulled a lot of good stuff. And we're going back into Hidden Fates today. Charizard hunting. Looking for that fourth Charizard. Uh, so we're going into some Hidden Fates. So without further ado, guys, I got some birds, some legendary birds packs, and I got some Mew packs. So we're going to go check out these bad boys, see what I get here today. And we're going up with the first pack of legendary birds. Woo! And it came from a premium collection box kind of like this one but in the bigger one that came with that little uh statue of the Rayquaza like that that's where that pack came from right just so you guys know all right so let's get into this one guys and we're gonna see what we can pull from this today all right so put that over there Is that code card over there forward to the front all right, let's get it, guys. Let's have a little fun here and see what your boy can get today from these hidden fates. Uh, let's see if we can continue to do the streak here. We got energy, uh, metal type energy, followed by Sabrina's suggestion, Pokemon Center Lady. We got Medipod. Uh, we'll separate that. Keep the trainers over there. We got Big Jiggy, Big Jig in the house, Uncle Eddie, Coughing, Kubone Crew, a little bit of Jordan Fringe, Geo Dude. Followed by Uncle Eddie again. And we get that drum roll, guys. Let's see what we get. We got an Eevee. Double Wami pack. Eevee Hollow. So we will sleeve that up. I will ring the, uh, get that, get that, uh, Zyron going, that trumpet there for us. And we got our first pack is a, uh, double Wami pack. Double hits. We got the Hollow and a reverse Hollow. So not too bad from the first 
pack. All right, going into the Legendary Birds again. And this one came from a Gyarados. That is a Gyarados box, guys. All right. Gyarados box. All right, let's see what we can get here from this one. Oh, let's do that pack down there. There's that code card. One, two, three, four. All right, here we go. We got uh, energy. That is fighting type energy. Charmeleon. We got Magmar. Followed by Scyther. Big Jig. Uncle Eddie again. Coughing. Kubon Crew. Geo Dude. We got Magic Carp. And we got that drum roll. Boom. And we got a Misty's Water Command Hollow. All right, so we got some hollow going on here. Another double Wami pack, so that's awesome. So let's go ahead and sleeve this up. Well, we'll sleeve up the hollow. I'm going to leave the reverse hollow bare. And we'll just stick that to the side, and we'll get that over there next to the other hollow. All right, so let's go, guys. Let's get rolling, because like I said, I want to get into a game before I have to go to work. And I uh, do want to get into some Black Ops 4 zombies on ancient evil uh and it won't be a live stream i'm just gonna go on and just rank up uh go to round 30 or whatever before 130 or so charizard box uh and we're going with the legendary birds guys so let's see what we get from this one all right let's see what we can get from this pack here's that other code four to the front all right uh we got another fighting type energy we got the lady, Pokemon Center lady. Love that card. Love that trainer art. Medipod, followed by Sabrina Suggestion. We got Voltorb, Zap Zap, Geodude. Parachi is in the house. Get the trap ready to lay it down to catch him. Kaferi, there we go with Kubone Crew. We got a Caterpie, and we got the drum roll followed suit with a Vaporeon Hollow. Wow. All right, so we got triple threat, triple hollow so far, triple reverses. So we'll go ahead and sleeve up these guys. Uh, three hollow pulls. All right, so there we go. And uh, three reverses. So that's awesome, guys, to get double Wami packs from Hidden Fates. All right, so up next is another Hidden Fates pack. And it comes from a Gyarados box. I do have a lot of these packs uh, from Gyarados. Uh, when I first bought these uh, tins and box sets, a while back, I uh, found a lot of uh, Gyarados and Raichu tins uh, and box, box the Walmart boxes. Uh, this was Gyarados and, and, and Raichu. Um, that's just what they had. It was just hard to find the Charizard ones. Uh, but then on the second run, I was able to find them. Uh, so I do have both. But these are just packs that are that I have in the closet in the ETB box. And I do have quite a few more packs to open on Hidden Fates. There is the ETB box. Um, so I do have more packs to open. Uh, we're going to see what we can get out of there. Another Charizard hunt. Uh, looking for that fourth Charizard. And I'm sure some big shinies we're looking for too. Medipod, followed by Jinx, uh, Magmar, Magikarp, Geodude, Kaferi. There we go with Kaferi. We got Eevee, Uncle Eddie. We got Electrode, Zap Zap, followed by the drum roll, and we got a Cleffable as uh, the rare. So our first regular rare and a reverse. So uh, there we go right there. Nothing really, really crazy. All right, let's get into it with the Mew Pack from a Gyarados tin. So let's see what we got here on this. And that pack just snapped open very good. So we'll slip that over there, put that code card there forward to the front see what we got going on here. We got the fairy type energy. Energy, followed by another Sabrina suggestion. Charmeleon, Chansey, Eevee, Kaferi, Psych Duck. We got Uncle Eddie, followed by Caterpie. And we got a Gabite, guys, our first shiny guys. And uh, followed by, well, we'll get the drum roll, guys. Boom, and we got a Gyarados, alternate art, guys. Gyarados GX card. So there we go. And this is a dull finish. What I'm saying dull finish is this whole entire uh, layout of the card uh, is dull. It has a finish, but it's a dull finish, not a high shiny finish like uh, some of the other cards. And from what I gather, this is a second print, uh, is a lot of these cards have a dull finish. So instead of a high gloss. Uh, so check your cards, guys. I do not know what these dull finish cards are going to be worth uh, versus the high shiny versions. Um, some people may call them as errors. Uh, 
And there's something quite funny that I found out that these cards uh, also have like a texture on them. All right. Uh, and I am collecting both versions of these baby shinies. Uh, so now I'm after both versions, the shiny version or the dull finish uh, to complete my set of Hidden Fates. So I'm after those dull finishes, which is thus why I'm opening up Hidden Fates is because I'm after those dull finish or shiny ones to complete my Hidden Fates set because I don't want to spend any more money buying any more shinies. But if I do find some deals on eBay, I certainly will uh, buy uh, these up and uh, search through what I get in eBay mail. All right, because uh, they are some great deals out there on these. And we'll just blow the trumpet, guys, for that. And we'll put that right up there as our first double whammy pack of a shiny. And we're going to sleeve up this Gyarados. Um, so we'll sleeve up that Gyarados uh, GX. All right, let's see what we got, guys. We got the Mew packs up next, and we're going to get right into this. And it is a Gyarados box uh, Mew, Q, Mew pack. All right, so let's get into it and see what we can pull here. All right, there's the white code card for to the front. All right, we got an energy, follow uh, energy, that's a leaf or grass type. Charmeleon, followed by Medipod. Uh, Slowpoke, Kefairy, followed by Big Jig, Catter. There we go at Jinx, Little Eevee, and we, oh, dudes, we got an, oh, dudes, well, I ruined that all up. Charmeleon, shiny, guys, and this one is a high shiny. I, I will show you the card here. This is a super shiny Charmeleon, shiny, uh, baby shiny, and we got a Giovanni's Exile. Wow, the center is way off on that. Little, little bit of meat on the top and a lot of fat on the bottom. But we got a, we got a, a uh, two awesome hits, guys, right there. Gonna sleeve up this, uh, this full art Giovanni's Exile. That is awesome, and I'm gonna ring the bell again because we just got that this uh, Charmeleon. So, if you guys can see, guys, look how shiny that card is. Look at the gloss here. See that sh gloss right here? See how super shiny? That is an awesome photo right there. You can see that shine right there. I just wanna bring up that Gabite so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now, I'm gonna put that Gabite up here. It is no gloss on this, guys. This is just dull finish. All right, hopefully we can get a good view. That I'm not sure if the camera angle is going to show that too good. But, yeah, it's a dull finish, all right, versus that. All right, super shiny and a dull finish. All right, so uh, that's why I'm collecting both versions, the super shiny and the dull finish ones. All right, that's I'm after both versions. I'm not sure if you guys know there's variants on these. Dull finish and shiny. So, not sure which is going to be worth more. Um, I'm hearing that the shiny versions of the first edition are the first print, and this dull finish was the second print. I do not know. I uh, haven't heard anybody talking too much about this, uh, but I'm letting you guys know uh, that that is what I found. All right. Uh, I heard that from NC Packbuster, uh, who's holding his stuff as well. I told him, I said, dude, I'm after, you know, I know he opened a lot of these Hidden Fates booster packs. So uh, definitely uh, we, me and him have been doing community trades here on the channel. Uh, so if you guys want to do some community trades, hit me up, let me know. And uh, let's see. So uh, without further ado, let's get into the next, uh, the next one. And we'll get into this Mew Pack. And Gyarados box and we're gonna go right on in here so right there boom there is that code card and let's go right on into the uh, thing here so here we go um, that is a water type energy followed by the Pokemon Center Lady Sabrina's suggestion Scyther we got coughing Paris Kubo and crew Voltorb, Zap Zap, Geo Dude, and we got a Paris, the Crab, Reverse Holographic, followed by our drum roll, guys, and let's see, and another Giovanni's Exile, guys. Another Giovanni's Exile full art, guys. Wow. Another double Wami pack, and another Giovanni's Exile, back to back. Literally, back to back on that one. Awesome, awesome pulls. We have another Tyro Life right here. Open up some Hidden Fates. Got three more booster packs left. Hidden Fates, and they're all the Mew Packs, and this is from a Gyarados box, guys. Another Gyarados box, um, uh, Hidden Fates. So, another another uh, awesome set of pulls here we're getting from some Hidden Fates. The last 
uh, the last three, four days of Hidden Fate openings on his channel has just been really, really awesome. So thank God for that. Get some really good pulls from Hidden Fates. Stuff I already have. Uh, but nonetheless, very good pull. So Sabrina's suggestion again, a lot of Sabrina suggestions, many pods, Pokemon Center Lady, Charmander, we got Kefairy, Slowpoke, Magic Carp, we got a Parachi set the trap, and we got Eevee reverse holographic, followed by our drum roll, guys. Let's get that drum roll. Boom! And we got a Charizard! Charizard Alternate Art GX Ultra Rare Banger. All right, awesome. We'll put that in there. And the centering is way off on this one. Holy macaroni. Look at the chop on that. Fat up down on the bottom, and it's all over the place. Uh, to the left, it's got a lot of meat. To the bottom, and then to the side here, whoops, it's all just cut to hell. Wow, they really chopped that one up, and they chopped it up on my dude Charizard. So we got our Charizard, not the shiny GX one, but we did pull a shiny. We pulled a shiny. It's a GX shiny uh, of the alternate art. Uh, that is similar to the promo one. All right, so we got two more packs. Mew packs, and this is from a Raichu, uh, a Raichu uh, tin. A uh, Raichu box. Raichu box, guys. Sorry, Raichu box. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, crack this open, and we're gonna go right on in, dudes. Let's get jamming. Here we go. We got uh, Fairy type Energy, Energy followed by Graveliar, Farfetched. Brock's Grit Trainer, we'll put that to the side. Why am I stacking it on that? We got Kefairy, we got Catter, we got Uncle Eddie, Paris the Crab, Charmander, followed by Farfetch Reverse Holographic with our drum roll, bang, and we got a Brock's Training Holographic card. So let's go ahead and get that drum roll. Uh, well, not the drum roll, we'll get the, uh, the horn going in Zion. There is another holographic pull and another reverse. All right, so there we go. And uh, we got a last pack magic, guys. Let's get on to this last pack magic on a Mew pack from a Gyarados box. All right, let's get the last pack magic, guys. And let's see if we can pull something awesome from this one in a last pack magic. We got four to the front on this one. And let's get it. Let's go. Here we go. Fighting Energy, followed by Chansey, followed by Graveliar, Farfetch'd. We got Eevee looking so sad. Uncle Eddie with the... Who is that? Formosa, it looks like, in the background. Followed by Charmander again. Psych Duck. There's a real break in Nate's favorite card. And, uh, well, just let me fix this stack of cards. It's all over the place here. We got Magic Carp right there. Followed by Brock's Crit Reverse. And our drum roll, guys. Let's see what we can get here, guys, on our last pack match. We got an Uncle. Oh, we got an Uncle. We got an Eevee holographic card, guys. So awesome right there. We got the Eevee. All right. Boom. Let's go ahead and sleeve up this Eevee and uh, we'll put that reverse to the side. I will do a full cap recap on our polls. And uh, here we go. So we got all this bulk, guys. I do have hundreds, maybe not thousands, of Hidden Fates, Commons, Uncommons, uh, Energies, regular uh, Black Star Rares. If you guys are trying to make a master set of Hidden Fates, I'm your dude. Hit me up on Instagram. Uh, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram was working out fantastic because I've been snapshotting photos over there of our polls. And uh, if you guys need hidden fake cards, let me know. We can work out some community trades. So I got all this bulk uh, trainer cards, energies. All right. And uh, of course, uh, we got a lot of reverses. So any of you guys trying to make a master set, we can do community trades, which will get you five extra entries into our giveaway so we'll talk about that in just a little bit on our giveaway because we're still on the march for 950 subscriber for our giveaway uh so if you guys want to get entered into that we'll talk about that in a little bit so here we go uh just under a half an hour so far so here's our hollow pulls vaporian misty's water command eevee brock's training hollow and another eevee so uh, you guys interested in any of these hollows, hit me up. Reverse hollows, all of that other stuff right there. Uh, here is our two GX pulls. Got a Charizard and a Gyarados alternate art. I do have to check to see if I need these alternate arts. I am missing a few. Uh, I'll probably show you my binder. Uh, you can see the gaps that I do have in there. Uh, let's go over. You got two Giovanni Exile full arts. So we'll put those up there. And then we have the uh, Charmeleon and Gabite shinies. That's what we got today. 
uh, from our Hidden Fate. So really not a bad pull. It was awesome. Another set of, I think we had an amazing uh, pulls again here on Hidden Fates. And we end up with that reverse there. Um, let me just stick that over there under this stack. All right. Uh, I have been making up uh, Hidden Fates um, sets, if you guys don't know, of... Uh, of Hidden Fates, I think I talked about this before, of all the commons and uncommon and black star rares. So, uh, unfortunately, I was only able to make eight of these. Uh, there are some short printed cards in this set, uh, including in the bulk. Um, so, I've only been able, able to make eight complete sets of the uh, of the Hidden Fates. I've been putting them in these tins. I'm actually going to replace these tins that are up here. These are all empty tins of Hidden Fates that we opened up. I'm actually going to replace all of those tins. And I'm going to put actually my full tins that I have in the cabinet. In I'm going to stock them into this uh, this thing. So I'm going to take down all of these tins probably over the weekend. Get all of these tins up out of here. And I'm going to stock my brand new Hidden Fates tins back up in here that are still factory sealed. Because I we opened a lot of Hidden Fates here last year. And I got a whole well over 600 packs of Hidden Fates in sealed product. Um, well over 600. Uh tins uh in stock um so let's uh take a quick look well we'll do a, we got a 950 subscriber giveaway there it is right there how you enter into that you comment 950 in the video guys get you entered in to get you two tickets got a bunch of people's in here uh, a lot of people who earn extra entries for sending fan mail for purchasing off ebay and for um uh what is it uh following me on instagram twitter or twitch and uh, community trades. So uh, we got uh, another community trade member uh, sending me stuff. That is Ben F Productions, who's going to earn 10 entries into the jug as soon as I receive his mail. So Ben F Productions, thanks for that trade. Ben sending me some stuff over. Uh, and I'll be sharing that with you guys as soon as it comes over. And he's going to earn himself 10 entries into the jug because it's a... It's a uh, fan mail and it's a trade mail so he's going to earn 10 entries uh for the jug into the 950 subscribers so congratulations to ben when i do get your uh package in the mail guys uh ben i will open it here on the channel live just want to let you know that me and ben do talk a lot here on instagram so thanks to ben uh thanks he's an awesome dude got an awesome channel and i'm sending ben a care package uh probably out uh next week ben just so you know, I will be sending you a care package out uh, to help you with your background. So uh, I do got a lot of like Dollar Tree boxes and stuff and some other stuff that I'm going to send over to you uh, to help you out in uh, getting your background set for your channel. So uh, this is out of the love for Pokemon for what I do. Uh, sending Ben some care package stuff for him to help him out on his channel. He can change up his background and make it look more awesome than what it already is. So uh, you guys want to... Hit me up on Instagram if you guys are interested in some background stuff. Hit me up. Um, you know, Ben uh, just is a huge supporter of my channel. Uh, and me and him talk a lot. And I watch a lot of Ben's videos, guys. So uh, being that Ben is so supportive of my channel, I'm just going to hit him up with a care package over there. Uh, and uh, you have to go check out his uh, channel. You go check out his channel and... Uh, You'll see him opening up the stuff, and you can see what I sent him. So uh, check out Ben F Productions. All right, guys, just want to shout Ben out. All right, huge supporter of the channel, and uh, just going to support him as well and help him uh, on his endeavor, his endeavor on his adventure into uh, the YouTube uh, um, community doing his channel over there. So thanks again, Ben. And uh, like I said, once uh, your care, your package arrives here, I'll get your care package out. Uh, Either this week or next week, I will get it out. I will let you know when it comes out, uh, when it's on its way out. All right, been putting stuff together little by little for you to go out. And it's going to go in a box, all right, just to let you know. So, um, guys, want to enter into the 950 subscriber giveaway? Uh, comment uh, 950 in the comment section, and we'll get you entered into that. Uh, as far as my uh, Hidden Fates, guys, got, got some cards I'm still got to get uh from this hidden fates uh I, like i said i'm working on a complete master set i did complete all of the reverse holographics um missing out on uh pinsor onyx uh 
a couple of GX cards that I'm missing out of here. Uh, I have to look at the book to see exactly what it is. So there are some gaps in here, and those are the GX cards that I'm missing. Uh, there's one Gyarados. Um, but, yeah, I got the whole, uh, you know, almost complete um, on this end. Just missing, like, those GX cards. The, they're not even expensive. They're like a dollar and some change, maybe, if that. So they're not very expensive. Um, there is uh, my full arts. All right. So you can see how far along I have come from opening up all these hidden fates. And uh, roughly, uh, I think I'm around 100 and... I'm going to say about 140 to 150 packs so far I might have opened of hidden fates. Um, there is all the shinies. Uh, the complete set. I have all the shinies. But now getting the duplicates of the gloss and the non-gloss versions. All right, so to, to make uh, the baby shinies complete. So this will be the most complete Hidden Fates probably out there on YouTube because I'm collecting every alternate art, you know, alternate thing on the baby shinies as well. So I don't think anybody else is doing that. So I'm collecting two Garchomp baby shinies, the shiny version and the dull finish. So I'm making the most complete Hidden Fates set that money can buy. All right, there is our Charizard, and we're still missing the Umbreon. It hasn't come in the mail. And the Gar Gardevoir is the other one on the big shinies. That's the only ones that I'm missing here um, outside of that. Um, and there is our uh, four gold cards. Well, the eight gold cards, because I have all the stadium golds and then all of the regular and then uh, all the promos including uh, a sealed version of that. I do have a bunch of those. And the promo cards. And there is the other promo cards. Well, you want to say promo. Gyarado, uh, Metagross, Zoroark, and Rayquaza. Then the Lunala Gold, Solgaleo, and then all the energy cards. I believe I got all of them so far. Uh, Metal type, Leaf, Grass type, uh, Parachis, Dark, Psychic Eye, Fire, Fighting, Water type, and Fairy. Uh, then we have all my duplicates, guys. There is our second set of Charizards, our gold cards, our full arts. Another Tapu Lele there. And I have a Tapu Lele coming in the mail. And uh, there's some more Giovanni's, Hiker, full arts, and uh, Moultrie Zapdos and Articuno. And I do have more of those. Uh, those are in my eBay. Uh, these guys are in my eBay portfolio for eBay sale. I'll have to take them out of there uh, because uh, I was going to put them up and sell them. But they're probably just going to make their way back into this binder. But yeah, so I have a whole bunch of pages left for all the duplicate full arts um, right there. Um, the whole set I seen on eBay, uh, the complete set of Hidden Fates, not doing the shiny version of the, uh, oh, the dull finish, just a complete set of Hidden Fates. I mean, one of every card that makes the set complete for Hidden Fates. Uh, I seen it on eBay for... At one time, I saw it for like $1,700, and then it went down to $9.99, and I think it's at $7.99 for the entire set right now. The Charizard has dropped down uh, uh, to around $200, $175 to $200. Um, depending on your centering on your Charizard, uh, you could still get up to $190, uh, I mean, uh, up to $290. Or more because the grade of the card will be high when it comes back. So um, your Charizard, depending on the centering, could fetch for more than that. It's the ones that I've seen that didn't have the best centering on the Charizards have been uh, just getting that money like that. Like uh, the $200 to $175 ish right uh, price range on eBay is what I've seen uh, going on with bids and some people not even bidding on it. All right, and uh, overwhelmingly, you can still find Hidden Fates in Target, Walmart, still showing up, still appearing. Um, so not sure how much longer it's still going to appear on the shelf, but it's still there. It's still able to find it, and uh, that's why uh, the, the overall why Charizard's price has come down, guys, is the overwhelming number of perfect 10s. The grading for Charizard is high. I mean, you can get a perfect 10 Charizard. It's it's one of the toughest cards outside of Cynthia to pull from Hidden Fates. But you can still get a graded 10 Charizard. And uh, being that there are so many graded 10 Charizards out there, 
um, that the price kind of came down on the uh, on the price for the ones that aren't graded. All right, the ones that are graded, you're going to get good money for them. Uh, I think roughly on a perfect 10 PSA, uh, four or five hundred dollars maybe. The Beckett's BGS, you may get seven to eight hundred on it right now, uh, but the ungraded ones uh, that are not perfect centering, you're looking at around 200 or less for them. All right, that's perfect. That's what you're looking at. Uh, I see them on Macari. People asking 209, make an offer. Uh, 256, make an offer. Some of the centering on them are like way off. So uh, eBay is the same thing. Some of them don't even have bids on because the centering is so off. People don't want those bad centering um, cards. They're looking for the best ones that they can send out, get it for a good price, and send it out to get graded and uh, going to grade high. So uh, sales on eBay, there's a bunch of them on eBay. So, you know, uh, just look for the centering, the best centering. The, the ones that are going to score those 9s and 9.5s are the ones that have the best possibility of getting a 10. If you can get it for 200, grab it, um, and hopefully you get a good grade on it. So that's the ones you should be after. Uh, if you're just after Charizard because you never haven't pulled it, well, then you buy one of those worst centering ones and uh, happy that you got one in your collection. All right? But it is a still tough card to pull. Outside of Cynthia, it is the most expensive card, and Cynthia is the second most expensive card in the set, and uh, still very hard to pull. And those gold cards, whether you're pulling the Stadium Gold or you're pulling the Tapu Fini, Tapu Coco, uh, or the uh, Tapu Lele, or Tapu Bulu, uh, those come roughly in one in every hundred booster packs. So literally, to pull a gold, you literally have to run through literally a hundred packs or more to pull a gold card. So uh, that's what the typically uh, the, the ratio of pulling a gold card is. All right. So um, there is your ratio. There is my hidden fates. Uh, if you love the channel, you love the content, uh, smack the like button, subscribe. All right. Simple. That's all I can just tell you on that. And subscribe. If you want to enter into the giveaway, please. You must be a subscriber to the channel. Enter in 950 in the giveaway to get yourself entered in. Shoe, I will check. Just make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right, our march to 950 still on the march for 950 subscribers. I don't know why the hell it's taking so long to get 950 subscribers, people. I really don't know. We've been on it going on since all of January, still not even at the 950. We should have been to it, but like I said, do what it must, and if it don't, it don't. The giveaway just won't go on until we get there. So uh, if you have a uh, channel of your own, the love, passion of Pokemon, Share out the video. Appreciate that. Appreciate the love. Uh, one hand supporting another hand. That's awesome. So, uh, you know, if you want to help support the channel, uh, share it out on your channel. Share out the video on your social medias. All right. Uh, like I said, get into the 950 subscriber giveaway. Got a lot of cards in that package. Going to be a bunch of winners on that. And uh, for sure, we will be letting you know when we're going to do the uh, giveaway uh, once we get that 950, 55-ish uh, uh, subscribers, all right? Got people falling off, or for whatever reason, uh, the notifications or whatever, some people just f bailing out or leaving. Uh, just want to do a quick shout-out. Uh, Laughing Pikachu, if you guys don't know, longtime member of Pokemon on YouTube, has uh, quit YouTube. Uh, if you guys don't know, some people that have long live, long lived on here on YouTube with a lot of subscribers, I think she had like, 300 and something thousand subscribers, I think, uh, Laughing Pikachu had. Uh, left YouTube. She was in college, I think, at the time she started a channel. And uh, getting ready to start a full-time job. I believe that's what she's doing. Uh, but still, at 340,000 subscribers, with the way YouTube is doing their YouTube now, with the analytics for, uh, you know, with the AdSense now, uh, with the revenue, still, guys, even with that many subscribers, you got people that still can't even leave their job, still have to go into the job force. So, like I said, I'm not out for YouTube fame because I realize how it's going on YouTube. So, I'm just in it for the love of doing the videos for you guys. And if the channel, like, grows, it grows. If it doesn't, you know, I'm just having a great time filming these videos. Filming the videos. And if the giveaways, we are fortunate to do the giveaways, we're fortunate to do the giveaways. But... 
Uh, if we don't, then we don't. Uh, but, you know, I'm seeing a lot of people who have been on YouTube for a long time that, you know, I said, I, I was looking in my own eyes saying, hey, well, these guys are doing good. 300,000 subscribers. Um, wow. You know, probably doing it full time, making a pretty good income. And wow, that's a laugh in my face because I thought they were making a lot of money, you know, 340,000 subscribers. I, I thought that was awesome that, you know, these guys got to be making some pretty decent AdSense money on YouTube. So my whole outlook on it is not bright for AdSense. So that's why, you know, uh, you know, I'm not looking for that YouTube fame. I'm not looking for it. Um, I'm happy with what I'm doing on eBay and all that. And, uh, you know, the AdSense just ain't paying off for people that been doing it for a long time, the way YouTube changed it around. So I'm just happy to do the videos. So, uh, and my love of this Pokemon thing that I do, uh, uh, my bigger fame of, uh, of, of boasting for, is that for zombies. So I'm a big time gamer nerd. So, uh, this just plays into everything that I do. And I just enjoy, enjoy doing the video. So uh, if you guys uh, have the same passion that I do for with this Pokemon thing uh, and the gaming thing that I do, guys, then you ought to be smacking the like button. That's all I have to say on that end. Support the channel in that manner that uh, you can hit the like button and you can subscribe to the channel and watch more content like this and more future content that I'm going to be bringing to the channel. All right. Um, just with further ado is, um, uh, just want to put that for the record here, guys. Um, I've been contemplating, uh, some thoughts going on, um, uh, what I want to do on a channel and, uh, uh, what I wanted to bring to the channel. And, uh, I, I kind of was thinking, you know, um, in the way things are moving for the channel, um, and the way the, 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 the road that I want to take the channel, um, with like the bingo machine, you guys heard me talking about is, um, honestly, I decided to just put that bingo machine to the side right now. Uh, it's just on a side, it's on a sideline because I'm just contemplating whether I want to invest in that at this time. Uh, especially the way the YouTube thing is handling everything on YouTube for the views and all that. Even if you look at the amount of views for people who have high channels, it's really low. So the views for the channel is not high. It's not high as as what it used to be. So for what YouTube is doing um, and the road that I want to take, I'm not sure if I want to invest that $3,000 into this bingo machine right now. All right. Because uh, I have to look at the way the channel's rolling. If I want to do that kind of investment for the channel long term and then if all fails if i decide not to do any youtube what am i gonna do with that bingo machine um that's just gonna sit so what i decided to do is i have something else that i'm gonna replace that with um and it's for you guys it's for you guys it's it's another uh i don't want to put it on the table because i watch other uh, I, I get my ideas from a lot of other uh, I get my games. I just want to say, put this on the record. I want to get the games that I bring to the channel. I get ideas from watching other channels that I enjoy watching. It's outside of YouTube, guys. Um, so I have an idea. And uh, right now I'm looking into it because it's the thing is roughly around. Uh, I'm just going to put the dollar value of this item is around 1500 to 1700 The bingo machine is 3500 so still, I can save money a little bit, bring this machine here, and hopefully have it freighted. And uh, it's for it's for you guys. Uh, it's another game, which uh, I enjoy watching. I'm not going to put it on the table what it is exactly. Uh, still figuring out how I'm going to get it here, if I can get it freighted. I've been looking on eBay. I've been looking on Macari, uh, looking on Facebook Marketplace uh, to see if anybody who had a carnival Anybody who had like an amusement park or an arcade has one that I can like feasibly truck it, go and pick it up and truck it here to my house. So still in the market for this thing. Uh, once I do get it, uh, you know, if I'm able to bring it here to the channel, um, I have to fill it up. So I have to add money to this thing to bring it to the channel. So 
Uh, if I'm able to get it, guys, um, you will be hearing some more news from me on that machine. All right. And uh, I think it's going to be awesome because I enjoy playing it when I went to the amusement parks. And it's not an arcade video game. Um, it's a uh, it's a game of chance. Just put it on that way. It's a game of chance, but you can win some stuff down there that I'm going to put into it. And it's not a claw machine, but uh, it's in the, it's in the same kind of category, guys. But I think it's going to I think it's going to uh, we're going to have some fun with that if I'm able to bring it to the channel. All right. So um and uh, it'll fit right in that corner where I got where I got all those dollar boxes. So uh, just uh, keep in mind that uh, I'm working on that aspect of the game. Uh, it's not the bingo, but it's something else that could take the place of the bingo. Uh, that's going to go in that corner over there. And uh, like I said, um, bingo machine is not totally out of the realm, but uh, just getting that other machine. I think I'm going to do that first. Uh, and see how that plays. And it's like I said, it's roughly about fifteen to seventeen hundred on a used, uh, new. Uh, and like I said, I, I got to figure out how much it costs to freight it here if I can get it off eBay. And it is kind of like a size of an arcade machine, and it's going to be heavy. But uh, I think we're gonna have fun here, uh, and uh, it's it's for you guys because you're gonna be able to play it. All right. Well, I'll be able to play it for you. And you guys got a chance to win stuff in it. So, and how you earn chances, uh, I'll have to. I'll be talking about that down the road if I'm able to bring this machine here, guys. So it's going to be amazing, guys. So I think we're going to have fun with that, and you guys gonna just. I think we're going to have a blast with it. All right. So without further ado, guys, uh, without taking any more of you guys' time, thanks for watching the channel. Make sure you tap that subscribe, hit that notification bell icon. Remember to get out there, catch them all, and have a what? Have a ball. And I'll see all of y'all, and I'm talking about all of you people, in the next video, guys, of course. So, uh, without further ado, I can't even get my music playing. Uh, maybe I may be able to get it to play. Let's see. Okay, I will be able to get the music to play. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram. I will be posting some code cards up on Instagram. Uh, like I said, new things that I was doing to the channel is I'm not going to be giving you guys a bunch of code cards on live streams. I'm going to be putting them over on Instagram, and uh, that's where I'm trying to support people that are following me on these social medias, guys, as well, all right, so uh, without further ado, guys, go check out Instagram, uh, like I said, we'll be posting photos over there of our polls on Instagram, and uh, code cards I will be posting uh, sporadically through the week uh, on Instagram, so make sure you check me out over there, all right, all right, without further ado, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the support. I got you guys, Shi Ching Li and uh, uh, Robst Robsta Scotten. All right, I will get you guys entered in. I've just got to check the analytics to make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. All right, must be subscribed to to enter in. All right, Mark. Make sure if you're interested in Hidden Fates, man, you're trying to build a set. I got a lot of cards. Like I said, we can do community trades, and it's just not Pokemon we can trade for, dudes. Trade for video games. Uh, I, I got sports cards. I got Hot Wheels. I got a lot of stuff that I'm involved in regarding the FBA, Amazon FBA, and eBay reselling. So I got a lot of stuff at my disposal to work in trades on top of money. So uh, hit me up on Instagram, guys. All right. Community trades will earn you extra entries. Fan mail will earn you extra entries into the giveaway that puts you into the 950 and the 1,000 subscriber. All right, guys. Without further ado, without me rambling on, I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you guys back here on Friday because we're back here on Wednesdays and Fridays and Sundays and Mondays. All right? See you guys back there, and make sure you check me out under the uh, Jedi Kylo MGD47 Spacebar ZHR on the PS4 for gameplay. My lobbies are always open, guys. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, and I'm out of here.